Hello, everyone. Welcome to our channel. Today we'll be showing you some awesome vehicle buses and bikes that can run on land as well as on water. Vehicle that can do more than just running on road is undoubtedly a very good idea. A vehicle that can navigate waterways like a boat continues to attract inventors. Here we present you the list of top 10 incredible amphibious vehicle. Have a look. Debating between a motorcycle and a jet ski? This is Bisky. You can now have the best of both worlds. Bisky is truly unique. As a single seat or single plus pillion, twin jet, HSA motorcycle, it is a world's first in many ways. At just 2.3 meter long and under 1 meter wide, it is the smallest of all Gibbs high-speed amphibious platforms, and very probably the most technically advanced. It represents true freedom for the individual and serious fun. It takes less than 5 seconds for it to transition from land to water. In that time, it retracts the wheels and switches to jet propulsion. When you want to switch and go into the water, press the button and the rear wheel will retract, jets will fire up on both sides, and the front wheel will stay locked in place. At speed, the front wheel will lift above the water. It can develop a speed of 80 meters per hour on land, and 37 meters per hour on water. Maximum power output is 55 horsepower. The engine is a two-cylinder petrol, and it has excellent performance. It is designed to give Bisky stability on water and land. The fuel capacity is 20 liters. It comes in blue color. Now meet the Sea Lion. It's an amphibious car capable of speeds of up to 180 meters per hour on land and over 45 meters per hour at sea, and it's all yours for the bargain basement price of $2,59,500. The Sea Lion is the embodiment of our childhood dreams rendered in brushed aluminum and stainless steel, and powered by a 174 horsepower 13B rotary engine pulled from a 1974 Mazda RX-3. The Sea Lion was developed over the last six years with the goal of setting both land and water speed records. Fortunately or unfortunately, there isn't a governing body that officially recognizes such a feat, so the Sea Lion is destined to duke it out with other homebrew contenders for YouTube bragging rights. With designed and built the entire vehicle with CAD and PRED sheet calculations, utilizing TIG welded 5052 aluminum for the body and a host of CNC milled bits and pieces to complete the Sea Lion. The gearing has been set up to handle speeds of up to 179 meters per hour, although the listing points out that the owner should swap in Mazda's current Renesis rotary engine to fully commit to chasing the amphibious vehicle crown. A car enthusiast has completed his six-year project to turn his dream sports car into a 60 meters per hour sea worth vehicle. The Sea Lion is a completely bespoke car that can do 125 mph on the roads and then fly down the pier into the water and keep up a respectable speed as it sails past the yachts and boats. Now the next one in the list is Ultra Heavy Lift Amphibious Connector Vehicle. Navitech has developed an entirely new kind of amphibious vehicle called the UHAC. The full-scale UHAC can haul three U.S. Abrams main battle tanks at a time. Its lightweight track segments that make the treads give the fully loaded vehicle a ground pressure of just a few pounds per square inch lighter than an adult human's footstep. and places where a person would sink into the mud, UHAC would walk right over. The vehicle can power up steep slopes, climb over sea walls, and traverse just about any terrain, mud, sand, and even ice. The half-scale UHAC weighs 38 tons and is just under 18 feet tall.
a full-scale UHAC would be able to transport up to three main battle tanks at up to 20 knots, have a range of 200 miles, and once ashore be able to proceed inland over 10-foot obstacles in through marsh or mud. Because of its great track footprint, the prototype's ground pressure is only about 1 pound per square inch, in contrast with a combat-loaded AAV-7 with a ground pressure of 9.7 psi. A full-size UHAC would work alongside and complement landing craft air cushion. Now this is Lamborghini Countach. Have you ever looked at a Lamborghini Countach and thought, wonder how cool it would be if this spectacular sports car could swim? Well, maybe not. But that's exactly what the folks from Saro a British firm that specializes in creating amphibious vehicles had in mind when they produced the seaworthy Countach now listed for sale on UK eBay. Uh, it even features a so-called smoke ejector system to add extra drama to the already pulse-pounding experience of piloting a replica exotic into a lake, canal, river, or ocean. A close reading of the eBay listing itself reveals that the Z1A, in its current state, is still a project. The Lamborghini replica needs door repairs, new mirrors, new carpets, and seats, with the latter apparently having gone AWOL. The engine spins but no mention is made if the car runs under its own power, despite the presence of a working clutch. The fuel lines need to be replaced, as do the tires and brakes. Next one is Shaman. Is a Russian ATV equipped with low-pressure tires. A perfect vehicle that makes off-roading more comfortable than ever. Shaman is an exclusive vehicle with an original closed frame protecting transmission components. Unmatched off-roading capabilities are a consequence of implementing independent suspension for each of the wheels. The vehicle equipped with low-pressure tires easily travels through marshes, tundra, rivers, shallow lakes, etc. In order to get over water obstacles, Shaman can be equipped with a screw propeller enhancing its naval speed up to 4.3 meters per hour. The vehicle has a hermetic boat formed frame armed with high performance water pumps that remove water from the frame. Special flaps provide emergent water drop if convenient. Amphibious vehicles are ideal for extreme weather conditions. The size of the vehicle allows it to use general roads without creating inconveniences for other drivers due to 8-wheel drive system, Shaman shows exemplary stability on the road. Amphibious cross-country vehicle Shaman is perfect for fishing and hunting trips. This is Ramdina B-Roll. Amphibious vehicles have been around for decades, but they've always been sluggish on land, and even less nimble in the water. A truly amphibious vehicle has only existed in engineers dreams until now. The Hamdinga Amphibious 4x4 is like a real-life, full-sized version of a G.I. Joe action vehicle. The Hamdinga is designed specifically to access remote and hostile terrain. It can comfortably transport 5 people, complete with gear, to almost anywhere on the face of the earth. Its full-time four-wheel drive and a 350-horsepower engine propels the Hamdinga along at a respectable 100 mph on land. The Hamdinga transforms from land to water mode at the touch of a button. So bet on the Hamdinga to set you back at least $150,000 when it finally rolls off the assembly line. This is Water Car Panther. Take a Jeep CJ8, put a Honda Acura 3.7 liter V6 in the back to provide 305 horsepower, add a fiberglass hull, retracting wheels, and a jet boat drive and you've got the new Panther from Water Car, which it claims is the world's fastest amphibious car. Capable of doing over 80 miles per hour on the road and 44 miles per hour on the water, the Panther is equipped with a long travel off-road suspension that allows access to less user-friendly lakes. The compact and efficient 3.7-liter engine produces 305 horsepower at 6,300 RPMs. All in all, early descriptions of water cars Panther suggest that it will provide real enjoyment to anyone living on or near water.
Now this is half and city river bus. Driver has to have both captain and bus driver license. And, of course, creating and running such vehicle is an adventure in itself. Half and city river bus is built on a MAN truck base, body is built from composite materials by a Hungarian company. It can take up to 36 passengers and 3 crew members on an 80 minute sightseeing ride on land and water. While on land it is powered by the normal internal combustion engine, but in water it is propelled by two propellers and controls are completely different. In the first few months of operation this bus boat was very popular, meaning that there is only one day per week for maintenance. One may argue that this amphibious bus is not much of a technological achievement, there were many similar vehicles in other parts of the world. However, this reverbus is the first of its kind in Germany, which in itself is quite impressive. Furthermore, it got the attention from the MAN and the movement for more amphibious buses has started. H2O Salamander This is first of its kind. The only amphibious electric trike concept and the only utility trike vehicle that is able to travel on land and urban flood waters. It is powered by an optional full electric motor or an ultra-low emission internal combustion gasoline engine. The vehicle is environmentally friendly and helps in reducing carbon footprint on carbon emissions. The H2O Salamander will come out with three models, for utility passenger and cargo, for emergency and rescue and for recreational and leisure. It is built for urban flood waters. People today are fully aware that there are issues with infrastructure today, the country and the people are in need of a solution. Otherwise, despite there not being any particular danger after the storms or typhoons have passed, flooding makes transport within our barangays very difficult, slowing down the return to commerce and normality. The Salamander looks to partner with barangays by providing a cost-effective way to ensure there is a fleet of vehicles capable of transporting people to safety. Also those who need to get back to normal work or employment, or even get back to their homes will be helped which will benefit more than 60 million people in the Philippines, especially during floods. Last one in the list is Quadski Patrol. Built by Gibbs Motors. So which one of these amphibians you like the most comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe our channel.